Welcome back. It is TVU's Most Wanted. Fireflight is joining me on today's show. So, Glenn's back. Very excited to have you back. And Good to be back form. in human form. In human, in form. human form, right. I was um, always here. Yeah, he never yeah. left. So we got out of you guys that you have, you shot two new music videos. Tell me more about those, other than it's the band photo coming to life. I mean, that was, that's pretty much what we needed to know, but I want to know more. So uh, <laughs> why don't we explain what songs they were for, when did you shoot them, how long did it take, when do we get to see these new videos, etc. Well, we did them both in one day. And it started out, um, the first one we did, it was for For Those Who Wait. Okay. And we did it, was it two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Three. Um, when the really cold weather came through Nashville, everywhere pretty much. And it was about 20-something degrees outside. Nice. And did you shoot the video outside? Yes, oh, yeah. we did. So that I was... I chose to be in my snowman form for that day. Yeah, I was going to say, that would have been perfect. <laughs> that survived. was one reason but why... the label uh, said it wasn't our branding, so I had to be... <laughs> yeah, it didn't, really, it didn't really fit. It wasn't the form. photo shoot image. So. Yeah. But no, that's one of the reasons why Don is still sick was oh, because we were out. You were she out. Had, <laughs> she had like this really thin top on, and we were freezing, and so we were out for several hours doing that. But so the branding the for the band wasn't like a sweatshirt or a coat either. No, apparently. no, or unfortunately not. Or sweats. <laughs> that would have been great, like full sweatsuits. Then yes. you wouldn't be sick right now, and, we suits. Have and then we could be really comfortable right now as well. <laughs> Do you guys have sweatsuits? Because that'd no. be fine. No, I don't, I don't have one so. actually. I don't what? know why. I should have one. Everyone <laughs> should. should have one. We will all go to Walmart immediately following okay. this yes. segment. So next time you come <laughs> to the studio, sweatsuits for everybody, Pain's including all headbands matching. and wrists. All matching, yeah. 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 All right, well, tell me about the other video. That one was for those who wait. What was the other video for? Desperate. Desperate, okay. That's the one that looks like the, the promo picture. Okay. With all the clocks and stuff. And we did some cool stuff. It's basically a performance video, but there's some little things in there we right. did that are going to be cool. Now, when you guys shot the Unbreakable video, that one was on the red camera, right? That mm -hmm. was that whole new technology thing. Was that same with this one? So you guys shot camera. more of this? Cool. It's the, the people that did the skillet video for Hero. Okay. Uh, so. Cool. Which we discussed guys. earlier. You guys really like that video, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Except for the absence of a certain hero. Yes. Yeah. Right. We won't talk about that. <laughs> but we do got to talk about your new album. They have a new album coming out March 9th, correct? February 9th. February 9th. Wait. February 9th. You're yeah. about to go back to the floor. What's coming out March 9th? De <laughs> Demon Hunter's new album. The 9th, okay? Like, they, uh -huh. they got me. Sorry. February 9th, their new album is coming out. And we'll talk about that coming up next. Here's Silverline coming in at number four. Oh, tell me about the new album. It's coming out on February 9th. It's called For Those Who Wait. Uh, you can currently hear their new song on Radio U. But other than that, tell me how it was. How long you guys spent recording, et cetera. Well, we spent about, I feel like I need to look at it. <laughs> You can talk to me if you want. Uh, we spent about a month recording, but prior to that, we spent probably the first eight or nine months of the year writing it. Um, we're, we typically wait till the last minute to write things because it comes out better that way, even though it's more stressful. But um, the, the album itself turned out really good, we think, and um, we're, we're very proud of it. It's, it's got a general theme, once again, um, one that we didn't plan but ended up coming out, and, and the theme is waiting about um, all the times that you're asking God for something and you're trying to figure out something in your life. And um, it's the time that you spend waiting for that answer and waiting for all those things to happen that God tends to teach you the most. And um, that's what the record ended up being about, song for song. So tell me a little bit about the sound of the record. If you spent a lot more time writing it, um, maybe preparing for it, how does it sound different, the same, a little bit of both as, you know, your previous albums? Well, it's definitely Fireflight. Um, we didn't set out trying to write Unbreakable Part 2. Uh, we, we wanted to write something that we felt was relevant to what we were dealing with, relevant to what we were listening to, um, and we just allowed God to write through us, and, and our heavier songs are heavier than they've been, and our lighter songs are lighter than they've ever been, and um, overall, I just think it's a, a pretty good step forward for us. Okay. So we, we don't say, like, huge step forward, because that sets an expectation too high. <laughs> okay. You, know? you want to keep the expectations low, so that, you know, like, people will really enjoy it. I can, yeah. I can understand it's, that. It's kind of like you guys used to say, lower your expectations. Exactly. You want to lower exactly. your expectations. I know your album comes out in, what, like a week and a half now. So tell me what you guys got planned for the day of the album release. Do you guys do anything special? I think we're going to be in Florida. Well, that's a good place to be. No, Not taking the Florida. day off. Not doing yeah. <laughs> You're taking the day off? I'm probably, yeah. probably going to take a shower and have some lunch. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> is that something you don't normally do? Like that's special or? Moving, moving along. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. But you guys don't have anything special planned for the no. day, just taking the day off? No. Any touring plans yeah, for the new right album? The, we're right in the middle of Winter Jam. Right, so, right. Uh, so we're really busy right now, so. Now, winter, they call it Winter Jam, but it goes through like the end of March, which is mm -hmm. definitely spring. Yeah. I think you guys should yeah. change names. Like halfway through the tour, you guys should tar start calling it Spring Jam mm -hmm. and okay. just leave it at that. We can, we can try that. <laughs> Any plans after Winter Jam for you guys? We just have, we, we start summer festivals, but before that we do some Acquire the Fires out west. Okay. And then some shows here and there, but nothing, nothing major. Cool. We are going to Hawaii this summer, though. We're very excited. Hawaii? About that. To play some shows? I take it you've never, you've never been to Hawaii? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My in-laws just got back from Hawaii. They thought it was awesome. Wait, you guys were in Hawaii. Remember? During GMA week? Via satellite oh, from Hawaii? Right. Oh, yeah. I was thinking we never played a show in Hawaii. Oh, yeah. but you guys have been there. Right. We have it's been beautiful, there. Yeah. which you would know. We're actually getting to play Pearl Harbor on July 4th. So that's, really? That's actually going to yeah. be pretty cool. That is honor. sweet. Yeah. Is that just you guys going to Hawaii to tour? Or? I'm not sure. Oh. But we did, our one request was that we actually have days off while we're there. That's probably a good and idea. And we got them, so we're very excited. That's great. So are you guys going to learn how to surf? Anybody know how to surf already? Or I have no idea how to surf. surf. Are you guys I gonna... tried in Puerto Rico, yeah. and it was a monumental <laughs> failure. <laughs> <laughs> it was that pretty sounds, awesome. That just sounds great. I tried once in Puerto Rico. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's a good place to learn. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, you guys have a fantastic time on Winter Jam. You can, of course, check out the album at shop.tvulive.com as soon as comes out February 9th. For those who wait, Fireflight, again, thanks for coming in and joining me on the show today. It's, it's always a pleasure.